Hi, this is Chris from ProInternetMarketing.co.uk and in this video I'm going to be looking at Dragon Naturally Speaking 11. Uh, I've just downloaded a demo of it just to test it out really, see if it's worthwhile um, playing around with and whether it can actually help me increase my productivity when blogging. So with that in mind, um, what I'm going to do today is compose a blog post uh, which will be available on ProInternetMarketing.co.uk um, completely in Dragon Naturally Speaking and see how it copes. I've been through it once and done the tutorial video thing that you uh, sorry speech thing that you've got to do to let it learn your voice and um, apart from that I've also done one sort of test run through so there's probably going to be a few hiccups and I guess that just shows really what it's like uh, to actually use it from a, a real world perspective and that's what I really want to get across because obviously just looking at demos and stuff on on the website they're not going to portray it exactly as it as it really is um so with that said, let's get on with the, the video. I first came across Dragon Naturally Speaking back when I worked with the NHS, full stop. They were investigating its potential use as a productivity and improvement tool for nurses and doctors on the wards. Full stop, new line, new line. I honestly wasn't too sure about it at first. <laughs> Undo. I wasn't honestly too sure about it at first. Because talking out loud compared to typing is really weird. Comma. And having to say punctuation makes you sound like a fool. Full stop. New line, new line. But the more I think about it, the more I see its potential. Undo. But the more I think about it, comma, the more I see its potential, full stop, new line, new line. One of its best features is that I no longer have to use my fingers when I'm typing. That doesn't make sense. Undo. Undo. One of the best features, undo, one of its best features is that I no longer have to type using my fingers, comma, which hopefully will stop me from getting such bad RSI. Full stop, new line, new line. However, one of the worst features, undo, however, comma, one of its most unusual features, undo, however, comma, one of the strangest things I found is that talking and typing are completely different in your head. Let me explain. Undo. Oh, redo. I never really thought about it when I was typing, but when I analyse it now, thinking, no. undo, I guess I never really thought about it when I was typing, using my fingers, 
comma. But what I would do would be run through the paragraph undo redo delete word oh stupid thing but I would have two sentences undo but I would be at least two sentences ahead in my mind as I was writing the text on the screen. Full stop. However, comma, when speaking, I find the process completely different. Full stop. And that's not always a good thing. Full stop. New line, new line. So is it making me more productive? Question mark. New line, new line. I guess in some ways it is. It's quite, undo, I guess in some ways it is, full stop. It's quite an enjoyable process, but that might be because it's new. Full stop. I'm also pretty fortunate that there's no background noise, comma, save for the low hum of my computer, undo, redo, New line, new line. When it works, comma, it works really well. Full stop. And I guess as I use it more and train the software to my voice, the accuracy and my flow and speed undo, redo, undo, undo. You are a stupid piece of software. Undo. Bloody hell. Now I'm going to end it there actually. Um, I'm going to continue to write the post using this software but as you can see, there's, there's some weird stuff that I have not sussed out yet, sort of uh, deleting words or deleting just the last few sentences, uh, last few words that I've typed in, uh, last sentences or whatever. It just completely overripped something that I'd done then um, through my fault in a way, that saying undo it, whatever, and I've completely forgotten what it was I was going to say. So I guess the weirdest thing that I'm trying to get across really is that speaking and writing are completely different and when you've got to think about where your punctuation's going, so you're like when you listen to it, when you listen to someone speak, you can tell where the punctuation is, even though obviously they don't say it, um, exclamation mark. But the <laughs> that was terrible. But the the strange thing is when you when you're trying to write it on a screen, it's really really weird. Without um, you've got to think about stuff that you don't normally think about, and thinking about where your punctuation goes completely throws. The, the flow in your head of where the text is going, if that makes any sense. So whether it's going to be more productive or not um, it is still to be seen, honestly. And we'll see by the end of the article that I've written what my conclusions are. At the moment, it's, it's sort of 50-50. And judging by the cost, which I think is about 100 and something pounds last time I looked, um, I, I don't know whether it's 
it's there yet, if you know what I mean. Um, I don't know if the software is advanced enough or whether it's too early days really for me to say. So, yeah, I guess I'll, I'll continue with the post um, and you can read it through at your leisure, should you so be inclined at prointernetmarketing.co.uk. And, um, yeah, hopefully hopefully things will improve and I won't end up smashing my screen in frustration. But, yeah, it seems all right so far. But, yeah, whether it's going to be whether it's going to actually save me any time compared to go back through and going back through and adding in punctuation is, you know, you might be sort of saving in one direction and, and ending up costing yourself more time in another. So we'll see anyway, but uh, cheers for watching.